Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And about a year ago, I did this video. Everything in yellow will be cut out. Everything in brown is the wood. And then the phrase is engraved. And somebody suggested I use a simplify tool. Well, I did not totally understand, but I was playing around with it. And I actually found a better way to do it than I used to do it. So we're going to take this and we're going to left click no fill and right click hairline. I've got my nudge factor, my nudge distance set on seven inches. We're going to take this item and we're going to go up to effects, contour, and we're going to contour it. And I'm just playing. You might want to play around with this point two, and all it depends on how big you were doing it. So now we've got our contour. I'm going to go up to object and break contour apart. And I'm going to bring, take our contour and I'm going to put it back those seven inches. Now this is where sometimes the weld tool is a little bit confusing because you don't really know which one's on front. So that's not what you want. You want back minus front. And what it has done now, it's cut out a contour around. And some of these are really minute, so you might want to delete them or they wouldn't look cool. But then all you do is take your text again. And this is not the text I would use, but I'm using a new laptop and it's the only text that I really, I've lost a lot of my fonts. And then just move it back up. So everything that's red will be cut out and everything that's black will be engraved. It would make a pretty cool sign. And I would play around with it. You know, these are a little sharp and there's some little bitty pieces. But if your laser cut it out, it would look sharp as I did in this one. So all those little specks have been cut out of the wood. Making it an equal contour, but you want to play around with your contour. If you contour that probably 0.12 or 1.5 or 1, you know, 1.5, it would be, it would probably take these away. But that's a lot easier way than I used to do it before with the virtual segment delete key and deleting buttons. Anyway, so I thank that viewer for sparking my interest and hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.